Hello and welcome everyone, we're back again for some more Bard's Tale 4. Last time, we had a lot of skeletons to clear out, and honestly, I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. So let's get into the game, continuing on uh, with the main quest of Blood of the Kings, fighting through the skeleton hordes to get to Langskull Castle, uh, and let's load it up. With Lagod Zanta's reliquary in hand, the heroes enter Castle Longskull, ready at last to battle the Wraith. But how could they keep him from stealing the blood of Athelrude when they were wrong about who possessed it? All right. Heard that one last time, but I figured, why not play it again? I love his little intros. So... Uh, last time, we actually found a steel key after accidentally fighting a group of extraordinarily low-level skeletons that I did not mean to. Uh, and we found a lock chest. Again, just after we cleaned all of the lock chests up. So, uh, we've got this lever to pull and open this gate. And I'm assuming the steel key is for the gate over there. And there's a skeleton. Uh, there's two ranged skeletons over there. One melee skeleton kneeling over there. And then there's a necromancer over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and charge the necromancer. I don't know what level they are. What level are they? I have no idea, but... Ah. Oh, come on. You found me then. Ah, I walked right up to your face, and you didn't see me. So I, in the moment that I turned my back to your attack, and that's a lot more undead we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like that going down. Ow! Oh. Okay, so we didn't do any damage with our Command me. uh with our Kale's rudiment. However, we did get the Einar uh we did get the strength from it. Uh which means we could go ahead and shield for 57 constitution. I'm going to do that uh, and try healing at the same time by using sanctuary score here. Uh all right, yeah, we'll go with that sanctuary score. And I just got a random call on my phone, <laughs> which distracted me for a moment. We'll do a Kale's Rudiment. We've got a 152 maximum health right now. That's, uh, that's substantial. I... I... Okay, so our goal, I think, right now is going to be a little bit of defense. Waiting for them to attack us. This guy got both of the uh, Troubadour passives again here. Yes. And I think I just want to limit the Fine. amount of hits we could take with ar from archers. So that's using Only archers beat. Then we're going to want to. Uh, I think we're going to want to change fate this guy. Uh, just so that they can't. Attack us here. They can do it whatever they want, but uh, yeah, just uh, don't want the necromancer and the archers to attack us. Uh, we can get the we could get some attacks from the skeleton warriors here. Here to serve. Uh, and that's totally fine if they want to attack us. I'm entirely okay with that. <laughs> And ready. Yeah. Uh well. That's interesting. Tell me who to kill. Whatever. Hey, so I probably want to here. bring Una up here. Huh? I'm gonna just go ahead and use a whip crack on this guy. No. No, we'll we'll have the damage for them later. 
Ready for orders. I'm just gonna bring Una in by herself here. She'll use Wayland's watch on as many targets as we can here. Uh, we've got fairly good defenses here. I'm going to go with. Tell me what to do. Uh, bringing Merlin in. Ready for orders. Uh, yeah, I, I want it, I want him in the middle. Uh, Una can be on the do. outside with these guys. And I'm going to put up uh, the deflect stance for that Merlin. Because they've got a lot of uh, multi-hit attacks. So that armor is going to do great for them. Or for him. We're going to go sure. with a Falcadine's Fury on everyone At here. Your command. Okay. On your word. And I think we'll Ready actually just let... Like, uh, Merlin do the whip crack on this guy. Ready. Get some good damage there. And 25 twice? That's actually Please fairly good me. for you there, Melody. Go ahead and try that. It'll hit. And... Yeah. yeah that, that's good damage. Here to serve. Okay, do we want another one? No, because we don't want to risk them actually dying to it. Go. Okay, I think we're good with that. Uh, we do have another shield On your word. to give. Something. And who do we give it to? It's just got to be Merlin here, right? Ready. Merlin's in the most threat. We'll use uh, Lyric of Legends 1 to uh, channel for opportunity. Spell Song, channel for spell points. Really? At your command. And I'll use an Elven Wine here. It's a little bit tougher of a fight. There we go. And may as well use another Falconine's Fury here. Because they're going to be attacking us, and they'll be taking the damage from the kills tournament. Uh, so then we'll make them take damage from the Falconine's Fury as well. Uh, that's going to be it for now. Uh, yeah, 51 health isn't actually a lot for Melody, but she does have uh, the Sanctuary heal as well on her. Uh, yep, that killed that guy entirely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that guy just took a lot of damage. Okay, we'll we'll be able to. He's gonna come back. We'll be able to finish him off. Oh, oh no, he didn't. This this guy's got two hearts on him. So I thought this uh, one of the hearts belonged to uh, the guy who just resurrected. Ready for orders. Okay, uh, we have a total of 42 bonus strength on uh, Melody now. That's great. In that case, I'm gonna just uh, see how much I can do to this guy here. 93? Fine. Command me. I'm okay with trying for 93 damage. And it crit. Ready. So. I guess uh, we'll be able to use the fucking Dean's Fury here again. Yeah. And I guess we didn't really need it for that guy in the back, but uh, Shakespeare's gonna go ahead, move, and finish that guy off. I think we're at the time to start finishing people off here. We've got lots of opportunity. And I guess we've also got the uh, got the damage as well with uh, with Merlin's uh, whip cracks. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's 150 plus damage with a single ability there. Here to serve. And then 93 from Melody. We're doing sure. solid here. At your command. On your walk. All right. Let's try a whip crack on this one, or just a head knocker. No, let's go with 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 whip crack. Uh, and ready. I beg your pardon. And we'll be able to use a passing slash. Okay, I don't mind if I do. I'll just keep on using it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I love that ability. And all of the crits. The sword crits are 
so good. Like honestly, they're just really good. Command me. Uh huh. Here. We'll be able to use another rhyme of duo time to keep on doing it. Ready. At your command. Great. Ha! Orders. Ready for orders. Yeah, we'll just move. Uh, Una can go ahead and move on to Merlin. Uh, we managed to run Excuse out me. of uh, things we could do with uh, Melody. Yeah. Actually, no. Let's just use Rhyme of Duo Time. And let's try that thing again. The whole multi kill with the Storm of Blades. Yeah. The first one hits the first one. And then the second one hits the second one. That's cool. I don't know if I've ever encountered that before. Although, you do need a really high strength in order for it to be effective. Right? Because. Or they need to be very low health. One or the other. Uh, right? Because. Uh, finishing someone off, okay, they have seven health. So if you do more than seven damage, uh, then you'll go ahead and kill the one behind it. But if they have armor, then it, then Storm of Blades is much less effective. So it is fairly situational that that can happen, but if you've got an Einar, which apparently stacks incredibly, and I didn't realize how much Einars are, or how much Einars able, are able to stack like that, like, that's incredible. Uh, and I'm so glad that we chose Einar for, for that, uh, for Melody. Uh, but yeah, just really solid all around. And in theory, we could have, uh, if you wanted a stronger, stronger combo than this as well, or if you just want to change things up, do? technically we can give the shield of Tortuga over to Melody or some, or, or someone who is an Einar. Because an Einar would be able to get bonus strength. Like, you could essentially just make Merlin's race an Einar instead. They'll be able to get bonus strength. They'll be able to... Uh, uh, to get the Shield of Tortuga ability to uh, gain twice as much power. And the Shield of Tortuga has the hidden ability of the Tortuga's brooch before. Uh, that the combatant does not get stunned when they drink alcohol. So you can do that with any race. It doesn't have to be a dwarf. I like the idea of having two dwarves in the front row of the party, just so that we're not knocked around so that, you know, they're immune to stuns and uh, other movement effects. Uh, and that that playstyle only actually comes online, online uh, once you get the Shield of Tortuga. Or at least once you get the brooch, which is essentially the same time, because you can just choose instantly to uh, to give it up. So you're not actually able to uh, to play that way uh, with the using the, the double power from drunk, or I guess in this case triple power from, from drunk, until you complete Tortuga Swim Quest. So you've got to wait until you actually get to the Seal and Selkie in the main story quest in order to actually uh, play with someone who who can effectively utilize gaining the strength from uh, from alcohol without getting stunned. Uh, so that's why I chose a dwarf in the end, is just because it's available for much er much more early on. Uh, let's go ahead and move this to the side. I think we've got a... Um, like, this fairy obviously needs to go onto this one, but we need to figure out what's actually here, behind all these blocks. If we can push this block out of the way, then we can get behind and figure out what's here. There might be something behind even that. I don't know, though. So, if we push it to this one, tell it to go this way, it'll run into here, which we can tell to go this way, and then it can go straight out. So as long as we move the blocks out of the way, I think we're fine here. I don't think there was anything behind that block. So in that case, we can move this block into the back. This block out of the way. And even pushing it further that way. Now we've got the open spot, so that we can tell the fairy which we haven't seen a fairy puzzle in a while. This is kind of a nice change. To go that way. 
Fly, fairy, fly! Or shoot. There we go. Easy enough. Right here, I won't stand in your path, there, fairy. There you go. And that's the door open. What's on the other side? Another standing stone. Look at that. That's convenient. It is quite a quite a walk from uh, the standing stone now. And that is one thing that I oh a gear, simple activation cog. Uh, that's not gonna that's not gonna reach. We probably have to do it on that side. But we need to remember that there is a trail marking there. Uh, so how do we get over there? Oh, there's a bridge. There's a bridge. Okay, let's activate the standing stone. And then we'll head over the bridge. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, in the Barnes Tale Director's Cut, they added a lot more of those standing stones. And it does make it much more convenient for, for fast travel. Uh, yeah, they added, like, a lot, actually, in there. Is that just a single Necromancer? Uh, it might be. Oh. Looks like there's an ice path over here. Where does it lead us? Well, we're still, apparently... Uh, like, we could have easily dropped down and uh, went on that ice there, but of course, it's a puzzle game, so we're not allowed to do things like that. Uh, but that's that's the that's the front gate of the uh, castle still. So, are we getting close? Honestly, I don't think so. You are brave oh. to set your sights that's a harder on fight. such formidable foes. Uh, in that case, let's go ahead and take the solo guy out. And we'll do that with a, uh, with the torch. We'll use the torch so that we can uh, get the extra extra skia. To the field of honor. Like it's only a single guy. Oh, we still need to heal up Melody. There we go. Cheers, friends. Lunch. So, of course, we go first, and we can do whatever we want. That's, that's the funny part. Let's just channel two. And let's just uh, patch some people up here. Yep, we don't have to do anything. Sure, we'll use an archer's beat, why not? I? And spell song. Yes. We'll let everyone do their thing. Huh? Uh, cause that uh necromancer is not gonna do anything to us for a good while. Ready. Orders. Here. Uh, apparently spell song actually has Ready. a cooldown there. All right. Well. Who? Me? On your ward. Let's just do that again. We've got to wait one more turn until Lyric of Legends is finished here. There we go. Now we're back to our normal opportunity. And we still get the gold. It's a, if it's a single enemy, we just don't have to fight them. Like, we've just got Troubadour, and we could just essentially build up until Troubadour ends, which is like in two or three turns. Command me. Ready. At your command. Okay, Melody. Oh, I guess I could have used a a chug ability there. Not necessary though. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, uh, move Merlin and Melody over in that direction. We'll use the Storm Blades here. That does 28 damage. We're just going to use that again and again. And again. Until we've got no more opportunity. Or at least no more cooldowns. There we go. Easy. Crits. Crits for days. That's why I love the shark property. 
on like sharp property with sword abilities. Incredible. Okay, uh, there we go. We've got a another herb here, and I guess we are still slightly damaged, uh, which will not be the case right away here. Fiona is so close to leveling up. And... Ulstrom Woods Key. Ah! That's the key we got to get here earlier. Oh, there's a big guy over there, huh? Let's and get skeletons on, on this on the roof. We can go this way. What's over here? Ah, another fairy puzzle. We haven't been getting much much of those lately. And it looks like we've got another activation cog there. The simple activation cogs. And, we've, yeah. So, fairy puzzle. We're going to need to get these out of the way. And where do they need to go? How are we going to get way over here? Oh, is there, is there a fairy behind? Oh, it's there. That's where the fairy is. That's interesting. So how are we going to get these out here? So we just need to move all of these blocks as far away as possible to clear up the space. I think this one will move there. Then we'll go around here, push this one... Uh, no. This one needs to go into the back. I think. And then, maybe this one can go over that way. And maybe this one fits there. Okay, so, looks like we're going to have to send the ferry here. And it'll have to take a turn this way, and then another turn, and then flee from the hawk to go straight this way. Okay. That's inter interesting. There we go. That'll work. That should work. Let's see what we got here. Oh, right. There's a, there's a chest and a... Oh, there we go. There was a chest and the simple activation uh, cog. Or simple drive cog. Okay, yep, yeah, that's the active or the drive cog, not activation cog. Oh, a master crafted officer's mail. I approve. I do approve of that. Huh? Uh, yes. Let's compare it with the one Melody currently has. It's not quite as good. Here. Una, you're the other front line. Look what you get. What? And then yeah. we're going to give this one to the next person. Uh, there you go, Fiona. 60 HP in the back line. And uh, you're not getting an upgrade yet, Gwen. You're not. She is a Ficti, so it kind of makes sense for her to uh, to wear that, that outfit or that armor, but... Uh, uh, unfortunately, she's not going to be able to find a fancy battle dress that'll be better than a fancy, uh, uh, officer's mail. That's just not how that works. Ready. What do you want here? What now? Oh, right, officer's helmet. Hmm? Okay. So, I guess we just move back to this place, and then we've got the big giant and the archers over here. And I'm going to figure out what was in that icy path before we go on here. Before we move forward. So, because uh, there was an orange fight, which we haven't seen an orange fight in a while. Like, we saw that red fight over by the crypt there. Which, 
was definitely more difficult than a lot of the other uh, fights that we've faced. But that was mostly just because uh, we didn't know about the sorcerer being able to... Uh, or the, the necromancer being able to summon like that. Okay, we don't have torch abilities right now. Uh, what are we up against? Can't just be a necromancer and a death arch, right? Okay, there was one more. Music heals all wounds. They this is a song to set us right. We've been fighting this all game. If I sing it, will you stop crying? Yeah, that seems odd to me. Let's just kill the necromancer first. That sounds like a good really? plan to me. We'll use a Falcon Dean's Fury, and those two aren't going to be able to attack at all. Until we kill the Necromancer and he explodes and then damages the other person. Ready. Orders. Thanks, whip crack. Ready for orders. Please excuse and me. And Storm Blades. That's funny. So, I'm pretty sure we took, or caught, that cost one opportunity to uh, use, like, Storm of Blades, like, eight times. That was incredibly lucky. That's funny. All right. May I pass? Uh, I'll do the same over here. I'll do what? Except, uh, he has a little bit of armor, so Storm of Blades isn't yeah. quite as effective. I I? So really all On we need to want. do Tell me who to kill. I? Ready. Is Ready. move one of these people and use Ram of Duo Time. Ready. Ready for Okay, orders. we'll use a passing slash. 39 damage there. Whatever. Uh, we'll put another Falcon Aid's Fury out there. On your ward. Grab whip crack. These fights are getting much faster now. We're doing... We're, we're learning. We're getting better here. Let's see. And we do have more Storm of Blades, but it's only like 14 damage. Who? Me? Oh. Sure, go ahead, Shakespeare. Why are you in my way? If you wish. We'll use Far Death. Oh, right. We can't finish them. Unless we can finish this guy literally right now. Ready. Yeah, that sounds. I beg your pardon. I ready for orders. Possible. Oh well, we'll just have to do that again. That guy can't even do anything. He's just gonna move. End his turn. This guy'll summon again with apparently a Falcon Dean's Fury on him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to do that damage again. Command me. Please yeah. excuse me. Okay, we'll use the passing slash here, just as a little bit more movement. I'm going to let Melody move all the way here by moving using Merlin. He's got lunge, so his next attack will be uh, free. And he's got some spell points left over. Falcon needs fury. There we go. Done. Good fights. Good fights. Alright. And that's a level up from Fiona. And, uh, yeah, we got the loot. And what's over here? Other than a small box of a little bit of metal scrap, a herb, and that seems to be it, to be honest. Oh, a... another red coal wart. You know, I kind of expected to find a little bit more back here. Uh, like, I don't know, some door to open or something, but I guess there's not really much. Uh, so let's head over to that door again. There was a bunch of skeletons there on the wall across from the across the bridge here. And then there was a big guy. We haven't fought one of those big guys in ages. Uh, but uh, I think I'm going to uh, just take a small pause over here 
just to see if, uh, yeah, just check on the video timer here. Alright, so we've got another 15 minutes or so left. Uh, starting the timer. Let's go ahead and, uh, fight this big guy up here. And I guess there's all these skeletons, too. Sure. How can we lose? Wow, someone's confident. If you're that confident there, uh, Shakespeare. Yeah. Let's make it a little tougher for you. There we go. When you're ready. And we flew. <laughs> Cheers, friends. Okay, so we've got three skeletons here to start with. They should be an issue. We did use Snuff the Torch, or whatever that torch is called again. Uh, we'll be able to finish these guys off pretty easily. I'm going to go ahead and use a Change Fate here. And then we're going to channel uh, channel 3. We're going to go ahead channel the Spell Song and... I don't think we'll need any of these other things here. We'll be able to wipe them all out in a single, uh, in a single moment there. So, I'm going to grab an Elven Wine, and what I am going to do, of course, I may as well use a Kale's Rudiment. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Oh. Well. Ready. Fine. Me? I had intended on letting all of these guys uh, just sit around with the uh, with the troubadour effect there, uh, but the mean drunk said wild. otherwise. Mistakes were made. All, all right. I'm going to just go ahead and yes, move. Do it. Tell me what to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move Melody over. And, yeah, we will go ahead and damage him as well. Kale's Rudiment. And we, I just want to move Melody in the range of this guy so that she can start gaining a whole bunch of um, strength from fel um, here. from the 50... No, Ready not 50. Iron Temper. Ready. Uh, we'll use the Wayland's Watch here, then. Orders. And let's just get prepared for... The big guy, really. Okay. We can use a Falconine Security here. Really? Okay, so all, all of our buffs are currently up here. This guy is going to attack us, increasing our Einar Temper. We've got 24 bonus strength now. Ah, Storm of Arrows. I hate that move. It's just an auto hit. I don't even think it can be stopped by Archer's Beat. It's uh, really quite annoying, actually. What should I do? I guess we'll just Ready. have to shield it. Ready. And Ready for orders. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that for now. Oh. And the... Ah, oh, another gun. That guy's annoying. He's doing a lot of damage. And he managed to kill himself on us, didn't he? So, essentially... Uh, the reason why I took so much damage there was because I forgot Wayland's watch. And... Uh, yeah, it did. The rain of arrows seemed to do damage based on the target's current strength, or, not, or the, the user's current strength, and not the strength at the time of its use. Command. So that's good to know. Anyways, how much strength do we have now? Thirty-one of strength. This guy can do something else to us, right? I. Uh, we actually have all of the opportunity right now. Huh? So this is about. Uh, this is pretty much the right time here. I'm only going to use a single trial squeeze in here. That will be enough, uh, because I didn't realize it, but uh, Merlin actually got the uh, victory shot from the other guy who died here. I will go ahead, move... Whip crack. Ready. 
And then I will use a passing slash. Actually, I'm just gonna use this regular storm of blades here. Oh, and it didn't reset. Unfortunate. And apparently there's another enemy out here. That archer is still around. I didn't want to move with Una. I wanted to move with Belly. Okay, there's still an archer there. That should kill it. Theoretically. What in the world? Yeah, I can't use abilities after combat. Okay, there we go. There's the big guy. And wow, he is big. Yes. Alright, so... Let's see. Resilience. So he can't be affected by the same crowd control ability more than once. Ready for orders. And we're entirely out of opportunity because... Yeah, we planned for this, but it really fell apart. So, in that case, we're just going to go ahead and plan for it all over again. Uh, sanctuary score with 57. We'll go ahead and uh, grab the shield. Ready. I'm going to grab a... I can't go with an elven wine. I guess I'll go with a dwarven stout for uh, Fiona here. I essentially just want to try doing this again. We'll go with the spell song. Ah, but now I don't have the sanctuary yeah. score. Oh, that's a shame. Hi. Okay, we've got a rhyme of duo time though. Tell me what available. to do. Ready. And we can use Melody's sanctuary score. Great. At least to protect. Shakespeare there. Fantastic. Hi. Ready for And we'll have to charge orders. up our strength again, I think, here. This guy is Me? quite big, and uh, he Ready. might be a tough fight. Let's go ahead and use the song of compulsory recording. And let's see how long this lasts. He is resilient, so he can't be affected by the same crowd control more than once. However, how does that work with compulsory cavorting? Because it's a channel. Ready? Yes. I don't know how it works. Here. Yeah. Do we go with a channel two to gain three opportunity again? <laughs> we might need it. Okay, he seems to still be stunned. Sure. sure. That's a good thing. And it seems like the, uh, uh, what's it called? The Brain of Arrows or whatever did not hit us. So I would yes. like to just keep Action things how they are right now. I will go ahead and use the Pocketing's Fury. And we're going to want another Elven Wine. On your match. And then... Yeah. Uh, later on, we'll, well, we may as well move into position now. I beg your pardon. Ready. Uh, but we will want to probably use just like a bunch of whip cracks. Command me. Possibly also a bunch of passing slashes with Melody. Oh. And I yeah. guess I also forgot that uh, Gwen will be able to do uh, like fire and bleed damage to him. That's also an option. I still have Headknocker here. Tell me what it still to do, costs Ready too for much opportunity. Orders. Anyways, I think everything's fine now. He is still stunned. <laughs> Now he is not, but that gave enough time for our Lyric of Legends to finish. On your one. And, yeah, this guy's not undead, so we're not going to be doing the 50% extra damage with Whip Crack. 
Yeah. But we can do a decent amount of damage to him. 105 damage. Oh, but that's only once. Well. Oh! He did count as undead. That definitely did the 50% extra, extra damage there. That's cool. I approve. Alright then, let's see what else we could do here with Melody. Uh, this one will do 17 times 2 total damage, 34 damage. Uh, that's not exactly enough for us. We'll just go... Passing Slash, which will fail. Uh, and we did get how many drunk stacks on uh, Fiona? We have three, so... We can use Rhyme of Duo Time, reset all these abilities. 150 damage, because this guy is still considered an undead. And then Melody, go ahead and use a spell point to heal yourself. I ready to go. And then spell point to also heal Fiona, top yeah. them up at least. I can lick my weight in wildcats. And there we go. That is very nice. He counts as undead. He does definitely look like undead, but he didn't have the undead tag on him. So that one was a little bit more costly. It took uh took a little bit more uh resources and the like. We did get a daffodil seed. We seem to have a lot of those. That's six now. Uh, did I decide on what uh, Fiona was going to go with for skills? Uh, when did she just level up? Is that like just recently? Uh, I don't think she is going with much more. Uh, the intelligence is good. It's not super needed, though. Let's just grab more health for her. Health is always going to be valuable. Even if you're in, a back, in the back line. We already looked at what's over on that side. So I think the only place we have left to go is... Uh, around here. More undead that way. A puzzle this way. Ah, that takes all the cogs that we've been finding around. So how do we open this puzzle? Uh, we need what to turn again? Okay, I think I get it now. There we go. There was a little bit more still back there. But we're getting closer to where we need to be need to be. And we're there we go. Die. That is uh the floating sorcerer something rather tower. And uh going through there might actually help us uh take out the poison fog. I believe that's where to go for it. Uh we also have this guy. Are we really going to waste our time here? There's uh, four of them there. And we've also, if we remember from last time, we have a trail marking right around here. No, not there. Then where? Here? Oh wait, no it is. Where is it though? I assume it's behind us here somewhere. Oh yeah, you can see it there. Ah, here it is. And another daffodil seed. We definitely don't need more daffodil seeds. Uh, bluebell seeds would be nice though, we only have one of them. And what is this saying for us here? Constellation Boar. Uh, waning... no. Yeah, waning moon in sky. Okay, let me let me pull that up. Constellation boar. 
and the waning moon in sky. There we go, and so you guys can see it. Here we are. So, there we go, constellation, boar, waning moon in sky. I assume that's sky. Uh, there, boar, sky, 27 and 60. So, look at our almanac, 27 and 60. Party stew and bluebell seed. Oh, a bluebell seed. You want to give us? You want us to give up a bluebell seed, huh? Well, there's a hearty stew, and there's our last bluebell seed, and we get some devil's brew from that. It's only one devil's brew as well. Well, let's hope it was worth it. And I think that's where we're gonna leave off for today. Fifteen, I guess, sixteen minutes now. Uh, we will start off with this guy. Just mow him down and keep going. That's what we'll do, Gwen, but that'll be next time. Thank you all what? for joining us. And next time, of course, after the after we load it up, our torch will be off cooldown. We'll be able to None of us deal with these guys here. right away. And uh, then we move on. Do we do the Sorcerer Tower? All right. Sounds, sounds good, everyone. We'll see you next time. And as always, a farewell.